Hello everyone and welcome to our lab tutorial. This lab is regarding the installation and configuration of uh, Apache Web Server. As you can see here, this is our lab manual that I have handed over to you. Um, and, I mean, like um, a, a few weeks ago, and then we will actually uh, go and follow typically the same uh, procedures here. I believe that they are actually very clear and very informative with with a very actually um, every single detail and screenshot has been captured here to guide you through this. But um, in this recording, I will just go through this in, in action too. I would like to see you the I mean like the demonstration. All right, so I'll be following this typically. So um, those who I mean, like those who cannot catch up in here, you can just follow in the I mean like in this um, in this user manual. So okay, so the process here starts by um, like uh, clicking here, going to the main uh, a home page or like the home page of Apache. This is the home page of Apache. Uh, where we go to install, uh, where, we, where, where we are going to download actually the Apache package. So here under Apache HTTPD 2.4.1 release, click on download and then go to um, files for Microsoft Windows here and then click on that. So go again to, uh, I mean like under down, uh, under downloading Apache for Windows, we are, we, we are selecting Apache Launch and we click here. All right, so um, you just ch choose your flavor of whatever, I mean like a type of um, version of the uh, the Apache, what do you like to install? Depends on your machine architecture, whether 64 or 32 bit. For me, I've selected this one. So once you click on it, the um, the install, I mean, like the, install, the the downloading process will start. The file is not really so big. It's not that big. It's about like um, nine mega nine megabit, per, yeah, nine megabytes, yeah, about 10 megabytes. So for me, I have already downloaded it here. So you can just copy paste it on a flash disk. This is the host machine for me. I've just copied. I, I've just copy pasted it on the pen drive, and then you just um, read it from the virtual machine, or you can just simply drag it. Because once you have the user manual, um, what once you have the um, what we call the uh, the VM the VMware tools being installed, you can just simply drag and drop any any item from the guest from from the host to guest, and vice versa. Okay, so um, um, this is the first tool, and then the second tool we need a prerequisite tool for it. Actually, um, maybe in this tutorial, uh, I have put it a little bit late in the in the procedures. If you're just scrolling down in this, you'll find this one. This is the tool. So this is actually like um, like a uh, like a prerequisite file that it's actually supposed to be installed before the installation of, I mean, like the um, the Apache. But why why did I just put it in a late in a late steps? It's because sometimes our Windows server may have been updated to the latest version. Uh, and then within the updates, actually these, I mean, like this kind of software, it will be automatically downloaded here. So how we can get it, um, this is the, I mean, like the file, it's just, is that we just click on this link. We just click on that link. You can just be prompted to download that. I mean, like, yeah, you see, it's already there. All right, so um, I will just simply, this is exactly the link that I'm looking for here. If you just click on it, exactly the same uh, installer will, will be uh, prompted to you to download. Right, so this is like a redistributable uh, version of C++. So it is a core, one of the core modules that it has to be within the operating, the Windows operating system. Right, so we have two, our, I mean, like two of our installers, the Apache package, and then the, um, I mean, like that tool that has to be installed in the beginning. For this one, I will just run this in the beginning here, double click on it, and then just go and agree and then simply install it. Um, I really advise you to go and um, restart the machine here. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go and restart my, I mean like my machine. Let me come back after after it has been uh, rebooted again. Yeah, there it is. We are we are actually coming back from our start, so everything is uh, is now in place. So next step here is to move that. This is the package of HTTP. Is to move it. We, we want to move it to into the C driver of the Windows server. So we go here, oh, we just ignore that. We go into C and then we paste it here, okay? So let me just um, extract all. All right, so we'll simply extract that. All right, there it is. This is it, so this is the file that I'm looking for, I'll just Put everything on the C. I don't know. I, I don't need actually this file because it's already empty now. Okay. So this is the file. 
I mean, like this is the this is the package. This is the main package of the HTTP. Uh, as a, this is the main package of Apache, as you can see here. All right. So I will navigate through and go directly to then. Then actually, it includes all the binaries. I mean, like it includes all the binaries and the installer um, uh, applications that, and even uninstallment uh, uninstalling applications that I would need to trigger. So my installation will, will come from here. But in this case, I mean, like in, in this tutorial. We're going to install it from the um, command line cmd. So we go and type cmd and run it as an administrator from here. And then now we want to go, we, we want to go and um, um, browse through until we reach this path. So the actually the easy I mean like if you want to do it manually, you need to go to cd and then press cd press enter cd um, slash dot dot and then cd dot dot and press enter so until you go to, to uh, and back to the driver c and then from c you can navigate through patch 24 and then to 10 but what i will just do i will just take it as a shortcut so i click here and then copy ctrl c and then press here again um I mean, like after cd i press here again Control paste uh, there it is so here i'm in the same directory as my as my folder here okay so um from here I will just simply go and launch the installation, um, launch the installation command. So this is the installation command. Just for you not to forget that it is the HTTP.exe. Um, uh, also, um, I want to trigger this parameter dash k and then install dash n and then I give the name to that service here. Okay. So where is that HTTP.exe? This is supposed to be the one. So this is HTTPD. Dot exe it's an application so if you go here right and click on it you'll find that this is this is the exe, exe application all right so we are actually about to trigger this we're about to launch this file but from the command line so we write it down here let me just for the i mean like for ensuring that I mean like the error free um command let me just copy that and then um paste it here uh trying to make sure everything is fine so yeah successfully all right, so everything now is being working successfully. Once you see this message here, the Apache server is successfully being installed. So congratulations, Apache is already being installed. All right, so the next step here is to make, I mean, like it, it is to bring um, the Apache alive. Why? It's because by default, Apache is not a Microsoft product. So um, it is kind of an external application or service that, that has to be, I mean, like whenever it's being installed in any um, Microsoft server base, um, operating system, it will be um, shut down by default unless we go and um, and bring it up. So how to do that? I mean, bring it active. How to do that is to go to start and then type services from start. So we are going to search services here. Click on it, and the services control panel or the console of the services will open up. It will open up here. All right. So navigate and select Apache server, Apache HTTP, HTTP server and just click on it one click on it i mean a left click all right and then select that button click on that button start service all right so there it is so it is running here and everything is working fine so um congratulations for this actually we have already done so this is the last step here um well just ask me later i do not want to go into further details so we have done this so this is done the first one which is the downloading from the, I mean, like that link. And then we have done also with the installation. And then we have configured Apache to be the default server by activating it from the services just now that we have run in here. Okay. So also this step has been done. All right. So now for the testing, it's just as simple as opening the browser and writing um, local host. Just type the local host and hit enter. Yeah, it works. So this is actually reading from Apache. All right. So it reads from the Apache server. Um, so how do you want to uh, config? I mean, like ensure that uh, here there is actually one folder under Apache 24. This is the main directory of it. If you go, if you go and navigate through it, you'll find this htdocs. So this is actually where the all the Apache I and mean, like all the web uh, web pages of the server are being developed. So whatever web pages do you have could be a CS, a CS, um, CSS, a JavaScript. Um, PHP uh, database, whatever. I mean, like even HTML. This is an HTML example, and we'll, I will show you now that this HTML now is actually having the same 
it, it, it actually includes the same code that it's actually pre make it to pre uh, uh, that it's actually make it to run in here. If you right click on it and op uh, open with, I want to select the um, I want to open it with here. Choose from another, and I'll make I'll just select that one. See, it's just as simple as this. So it's just it works. So this is typically the code that actually being translated here into the um, local host. So here we are actually being able to run uh, Apache, um, I mean like Apache, a web, uh, sorry, a web page from the Apache um, server. All right. So with that, thank you so much for watching. And I think it's a very sweet and short video. If you have any comments, uh, you can just uh, ask me in an email or just let me know um, in our uh, communication. Thank you so much and see you later.